Hello, this is Mama Socio from the third Koika Weko Global Supporter. So in this amazing opportunity, I would like to represent you about the new Koika project, which is the Koika Green New Deal ODA. So the worst impacts of climate change could be irreversible by 2030, warned by we only have 12 years to prevent the worst impacts of the climate change. Do you know? The 20 warmest years on record have been in the past 22 years in terms of uh, the weather. Oh, it's worrying, right? At the same time, scientists estimate dozens of species of plants and animals currently go extinct each day, nearly 1,000 times the natural rate. By mid-century, as many as 30 to 50 percent of the total species found on Earth will have disappeared. The Green New Deal ODA is a key part of the Korean New Deal for the post-coronavirus period and it also has to do with the outbreak of infectious disease. In that respect, Koika plans to push for the Green New Deal ODA as a signature project in response to the climate crisis. Climate change has become a top policy priority for South Korea, funding to climate action more than tripled in five years in 2019. South Korea committed $1 billion of, dollar of its bilateral allocable official development assistance to projects which targeted actions against climate change. The goal of New Green New Deal is to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions in order to avoid the worst consequences of climate change while also trying to fix societal problems in economic equality and racial injustice. There are three Green New Deal ODA strategy that Koika is targeting right now. First, it is supporting the green transition of ODA partner countries. Second, leading multilateral policy and dialogue on green ODA and increasing financial contribution to international organizations that address climate change. For example, Global Green Growth Institute and Green Climate Fund. And the third one is expanding within partnership with United Nations agencies such as United Nations Development Program, Food and Agriculture Organization, and international financial institution with an expertise in climate actions. For example, Asian Development Bank. Okay, here I would like to explain the specific projects that the Green New Deal ODA is currently working on. The first one is the Green and Smart Schools. The installation of energy-saving facilities supports environmentally friendly classrooms, while the use of technology-based educational materials provides a learning environment that incorporates a blend of both online and offline methods. The energy efficiency of old school buildings, including at least 2,890 elementary, middle, and high school buildings, will be enhanced through the installation of solar panels and eco-friendly installation. The plan to provide full Wi-Fi coverage in 380,000 classrooms by 2024 will be completed ahead of schedule by next year, 2022. The next project is about transportation. Can you guess? Yes, it's eco-friendly mobility of the future. The Green New Deal plans to increase the number of electric cars from 90,000 to 1.13 million electric vehicles in cumulative and to expand charging infrastructure to 15,000 quick chargers by 2025. It will also supply 200,000 hydrogen vehicles such as passenger cars, buses, and cargo, 
install 450 charging infrastructure units and establish a hydrogen distribution base, such as a hydrogen production base. The Green New Deal will also support the conversion of old di diesel vehicles into the liquef liquefied petroleum gas or LPG and electric vehicles as well. Next one is Green Energy. The Green New Deal contemplates expanding large-scale research and development, demonstration projects and facility supply to foster the ecosystem of new and renewable energy industries, such as solar power and wind power. The government plans to increase the renewable power generation from the current 12.7 to 42.7 gigawatt by 2025. And the last one is smart and green industrial complexes. The Green New Deal will convert industrial complexes into smart and eco-friendly manufacturing spaces with digital-based high productivity, high energy, and low pollution. It plans to establish a simulation center for manufacturing process feeding and a remote monitoring system to detect hazardous chemicals based on artificial intelligence and drones. This is the end of the explanation of Green New Deal ODA. I hope with this video, you can understand the COICA strategy of Green New Deal ODA. Thank you for your attention.